My name is Scooter LaForge and I'm from Las Cruces, New Mexico. And I moved to New York City to make all my dreams come true. I had art pumping through my veins since I was a kid. And um, I've been doing artwork since I was six, so I've never known anything else but doing art. I come from a family of artists, and my mother is a singer, she's an actress, my dad's a painter, my sister's a photographer, my other sister's a poet. We all have a creative gene running through our veins, so it's a good thing. My style of art is everything mixed together, everything in the kitchen sink all together. It's almost like you take um, children's books and you put them on acid or ecstasy, and that's what gets spit out onto the canvas. When I create my art, the type of tools that I use are anything I can find. I'm very creative. I find a lot of tools on the street, like sometimes I use paint brushes, sometimes I use twigs to paint with, um, sometimes I use mops to paint with, I use brooms, um, I use found house paints, I use spray paint, I use fingernail polish, I use lipstick, I use mascara, absolutely anything I can get my hands on. My artwork is inspired by all of my friends around me because I hang around with all different kinds of artists. Poets, dancers, actors, singers, writers. Um, I, I love to surround myself with creative people because they inspire me to be a better artist and I also love collaborating with different types of artists as well because it, it helps me grow as an artist on the inside. My advice for anyone who wants to be an artist is to keep going and never ever stop no matter what. And keep your eyes open to all the opportunities around you that come to you and say yes to them because that's how you grow your profile as an artist. I had art shows in laundromats, I had art shows in cafes, I had art shows in bars, I even had an art show in a bathroom. Anywhere where there's an opportunity to show and present your work, whether you're an actor, a dancer, a poet, a singer, do it. Because the bigger your audience, the more success you'll get and the more you'll have a chance for people who like your work and who will support your work. So never stop doing the art and always say yes to the opportunities that arise to you. Most of the stuff in my studio now is going to be for an art show that I'm having in Bushwick at a gallery called Theodore Art and the opening for the show is going to be the last week in March. What I'm inspired by for this show is a lot of psychic, psychotropic drugs that are being issued to people like Xanax, Lithium, um, Valium, a lot of like drugs that change people's minds are what I'm inspired by and I, I've been writing like Xanax on the paintings here and they're all inspired by drugs that that a lot of today's society are on so that's the the basis of this show that's coming up as far as my style um, a lot of these a lot I, I've been wearing the same clothes for 10 or 20 years. I actually still have clothes from high school. And these Keith Herring pants, my friend Kobe Cole gave me. And this jacket I got with my friend Patricia Field. This jacket I bought at Supreme. These rings are my friends designed them. So most of my stuff is made by people that are friends of mine. And um, I cherish my clothes. I don't have a lot of clothes. I tend to wear the same thing almost every day. But I kind of keep it simple, you know, maybe with one crazy print and then everything else is pretty, pretty simple. Keith Haring was kind of my idol when I was in high school and he's actually one of the reasons, the main reasons I moved to New York City because I was so inspired by the way he led his art career because his art was accessible to absolutely everybody, the rich, the poor, children. You know, everyone was around, everyone who was around in Keith Haring's day, he made sure that they had a piece of his artwork. And I love that, and I, I do the same thing. Like when you came into the studio today, I told you I'd paint on the back of your jacket. I just think he was just very generous with his spirit and his art. And I've read every book about him, and you know, I wish he was alive today because I've never met him, but he ended up dying of AIDS in 1990. So, you know, 
Plus, I love his work too. I mean, every there's not a day that doesn't go by where I see somebody wearing a Keith Haring shirt, and they probably don't even know who he is, but they love his artwork. So his spirit lives on. The celebrities that I've worked with, I've worked with Madonna, I've worked with Beyonce, I've worked with, I did stuff for Rihanna, I did stuff for uh, Miley Cyrus. But to me, everyone's a celebrity. So anytime somebody's interested in my work or they want to wear some of the clothes that I paint, they're a celebrity and a star in my eyes. This one, it was it, this was actually a commission for a good friend of mine and a very talented uh, singer and dancer called Shariah J. Look her up. She's on Instagram. She's amazing. And um, you'll just be mesmerized by what she does. So check her out. Sharia J. They find me, this, the celebrities that I have worked with have found me through social media. And I used to sell my clothes in a store called Patricia Field, which was a New York clothing store that was very successful and very popular. And Patricia Field had a store for, I would say, 50 years. And um, my clothes fit in there perfect. And a lot of celebrities shopped in there, and they loved what I did. And they use them a lot for stage. And um, that's where Beyonce bought a lot of stuff. Beyonce's been shopping in that store since she was 16 years old. The impact that art has on society is the best and one of the last few things that we have as a society to make the world a better place. Aside from global warming and, um, you know, just being kind and, and nice to each other, art is the only thing that adds culture into this world because we don't have any more culture. The culture is becoming, you know, it's becoming corporate. So anytime anyone is an individual and they're an artist and they're expressing themselves, you're, you're blessing the earth and you're blessing other people with um, a different vision and a different viewpoint of the way to look at things and plus you're adding beauty into the world and right now we need as much beauty and love as we can get so art is one of the last few things out there and um, people are really starved for art right now so I'm glad to be an artist in these times.